Get inspired to visit Spain and Portugal. Come on, let's go. Welcome to Travel Tuesday with Teresa, the ultimate source of wanderlust inspiration. Join the journey led by your host, Teresa Belcher. My guest today is Patricia Martin, Sales and Product Manager for Abercrombie & Kent in the European Office for Spain and Portugal. Welcome to the show, Patricia. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa. Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, uh, as Teresa said, I'm Patricia, a Sales and Product Manager for Abercrombie & Kent, Spain and Portugal. Here we specialize in tailor-made seamless luxury vacations, and we help Teresa to create the best itineraries for you. You make me look good, Patricia. So <laughs> just to explain, your company only works with travel advisors around the world, correct? You don't work with consumers. Exactly. That's correct. Okay. So you're my team in Europe to help me create fantastic itineraries for Spain and Portugal and the islands surrounding Spain and Portugal. So you guys make me look good. So thank you very much for helping me uh, create fantastic itineraries. Oh, no, you're most welcome. Uh, yeah. So if that's okay with you, I'll start my presentation now. Absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, so today I'm going to be taking you on a virtual journey through these th uh, two wonderful European destinations, Spain and Portugal. Uh, both of them are all year-round destinations uh, because they offer um, such a wide variety of travel opportunities. You can return several times and experience a whole different country every time. Um, we're based uh, in Madrid, in the center of the peninsula. Uh, I'm going to start today this journey through the northern uh, of Spain. Uh, this is a region that often flies under the radar, but is filled with rich history, stunning landscapes and culinary delights. Uh, from the green hills of Galicia to the rock beauty of the Basque Country, northern Spain offers quieter, more authentic side of the country and that's perfect for travelers that are looking to avoid the crowds. Uh, the north of Spain is also renowned for its food and wines. It's a, a great itinerary for wine lovers it can start in Barcelona, where our local guys uh, will take you uh, on a tour and in They'll teach you the secrets behind Gaudí's masterpieces. Uh, you can visit the Gothic Quarter and you can explore the city on a sidecar tour. Uh, Barcelona also happens to be a culinary hotspot where food is a central part of life. You want to make sure to wander through the famous uh, Boqueria market where you can sample everything from fresh seafood uh, to local cheeses and meats. Uh, to then travel to the Penedes wine region, uh, home of some of Spain's most famous sparkling wines, uh, the Cava. Picture yourself sipping a chilled glass on this delightful bubbly uh, while overlooking endless vineyards. Learn about the winemaking process or join a picnic among the vineyards. Then uh, traveling then into the Basque country, also in the north of Spain, where you're not only able to dine of one of the many Michelin star restaurants that this city offers. Try the pinchos, but also you can visit that first ever built underwater cellar. On a private boat off the shore of uh, Bilbao, you'll arrive onto the place where this artificial reef is located. Then a cage of wine can be extracted from the sea. Uh, back on land, you'll be able to taste uh, the wine that is being uh, Okay, uh, underwater to one when it's uh, on the land and then see if you can tell the difference. That's is a, such a funny game that uh, clients always love to do. Uh, we're going to move south now into Andalusia. Andalusia transports you to a land of Moorish palaces, flamenco readings and sun-soaked landscapes. Uh, the Alhambra in Granada is an architectural marvel that captures the essence of Spain's Islamic heritage. As you wander through its palaces, gardens, and ancient fort fortresses, it is hard not to feel like you've stepped into another area. Uh, Cordoba is also the home of the stunning Mesquita Cathedral. It's a mosque-turned-cathedral that beautifully blends Islamic and Christian elements uh, is one of the most unique religio religious sites in the whole world. 
Then we have Cadiz as well in the south and its beautiful white villages and offers some of the best beaches in Spain with golden sun and crystal blue waters. Then, of course, we have Seville, the capital of Andalusia. Uh, it, this is a city of vibrant energy and rich tradition. You can miss the Real Alcázar, a royal palace, and in the evening, of course, you can immerse yourself into the passion art of flamenco in one of the city many tableaus. You can also adventure in your feeling into a private flamenco lesson. You'll dress up as a, prof a professional flamenco dancer and learn some of the basic notions of flamenco itself. And for those that prefer to explore in a slower play, uh, pace, we have the luxurious Al-Andalus train. This train covers the whole of Andalusia, uh, going from Seville all the way to Managa. And, but this is more than a train journey. Uh, it's a moving five-star hotel with first-class rooms that uh, take the elegance of the 1920s on board. You'll enjoy the traditional Andalusian cuisine while watching the rolling hills, the olive groves, and the Moorish castle pass by. But speaking of trains, in Spain, we have the best uh, network of high-speed trains. They connect all the major cities. It takes you from Madrid to Barcelona in over two hours, Madrid to Seville. Um, it, it is a great a way to travel throughout Spain in a really quick way and a lot more comfortable than sometimes the waiting times at the airport can be a bit dreadful and the passport controls. Uh, we are moving now to the Balearic Islands. They are situated on the east of Spain. Um, and if you're dreaming of Mediterranean beaches, crystal uh, clear water, and island life, this island are your go-to destinations, definitely. Each island has got its own vibe. Mallorca, that you can see on the screen right now, is known for its stunning coastline, historic towns like Palma, vibrant art scene, but it's also the home of Rafa Nadal, our very famous tennis player. And his academy is there. You can visit the museum and see the new promises training on this uh, very same academy. Uh, then there's uh, lots of uh, water sport opportunities, bike tours, uh, paddle boarding, boat tours, uh, kayaking, you name it. Then Ibiza. Of course, it might be famous for its nightlife, but it is also offer really peaceful retreats and quiet coves. So it's not only about the party on the island. And also Formentera. Formentera is a laid-back, barefoot luxury. It's perfect for those looking to unplug and unwind and just enjoy the slow life. Uh, taking about Iceland, <clears throat> a very common... Uh, as they are very common spots on the Mediterranean cruises, uh, I'll take this opportunity to mention that we're able to offer private shore excursions as well. Uh, if you're going on a cruise, uh, just talk to Teresa if you want to have a different excursions that um, you don't want to travel with the whole of the cruise ship, you just want to have something more private, we're able to help you throughout Spain and Portugal shores. And talking about islands, Portugal also have the wonderful archipelagos, the Azores and Madeira. Uh, they're situated in the North Atlantic Ocean. They're really well connected with direct flights from some parts of the US, also uh, from Portugal, Lisbon and Porto. The Azores are the perfect destination for nature lovers. Uh, these islands are a paradise of volcanic landscape, crater lakes, and lush green valleys. One of the most popular activities there is whale watching, <clears throat> where uh, you can see these magnificent creatures on their natural habitat. Then we have Madeira. This is another must visit for adventure seekers and relaxation alike. Enjoying the views from the cable car or visiting the bot botanical gardens. Uh, one experience over there that you can miss is the unique tradition of tobogganing. While you sit on this traditional wicket basket, the tobogganers will push you down the hill and you can take up the speed of 30 miles per hour. Uh, it's really adventurous, it's really fun, and it's really safe. Um, the 
islands are really well connected to the mainland as well, like I mentioned earlier. So flights uh, direct to Lisbon or into Porto, making a great combination for an itinerary where you have the mainland, the big cities, and then you relax or enjoy nature on the islands. We have um, Lisbon is the capital city and it's the country's vibrant and colorful um, city of Portugal. Um, is where history lives around every corner, from the Grand Belen Tower uh, to the charming alleyways of Alfama. One of the best ways to explore is hopping on one of the iconic yellow trams and just uh, enjoy the views of all these narrow streets. Uh, you need to make sure to stop on one of the city's uh, miradors and enjoy the views. Uh, but Lisbon is also very well known for its food. And you can try, of course, the pastel de nata, but better yet, you can participate on a private uh, pastel de nata making class where you can learn how to make this delicious dessert. Uh, we also have Porto, the second largest city where you can just uh, enjoy a stroll around the old town, visit the port, um, visit one of the many um, port lodge where you can try this famous wine or you can visit, of course, the Duro Valley uh, as a day trip or as a stay there and visit all the wineries and enjoy a Ravello tour uh, or simply relax and have a picnic on one of the many uh, vineyards available. Um, but what makes traveling with uh, Teresa, Anna Abercrombie and Kent are uh, completely different is our people in the ground, our unique network of local guys and guardian angels who've been personally vetted by us. And they not only offer great knowledge of the destinations, but also share this personal experience on every tour. They make every single visit really special for uh, our clients. And they make you feel the city like is your own, giving you all the secrets and all the, taking you to the best places. So waiting you uh, in Spain and Portugal. Uh, muchas gracias. Thank you for listening to me today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Patricia. You did a great job. So let me ask you, in Porto, the Douro River, how mm -hmm. far is it from the mouth of the river, which is in Porto, all the way uh, going eastward? How far is that? As in to stay on the Duro Valley, because the river itself uh, travels all the way into the Spain, actually. But um, normally, uh, a really great combination is uh, to stay on the Duro Valley is the Six Senses uh, Hotel, which uh, is right on the center of the Duro Valley. It's not close to any um, cities, not as in... Um, all you see around is just nature of vineyards and amazing landscapes. And then you have the city of Pinao, which is only 40 minutes uh, from that hotel itself. And it's a beautiful small town with a little port and all the Ravello boats uh, normally depart from there to do a little um, private boat around the river. Yes, I book a lot of six senses. It's very well known for wellness. So mm -hmm. when you are there, you, not only can you explore the local wineries and vineyards and partake in the culinary scene, it's very similar to our Napa Valley and Sonoma mm -hmm. Valley here in California. But you can also pamper yourself and relax and just detach and slow down a bit from all of these city uh, experiences that you're going to be uh, indulging in. Last question. Many of your tour guides are historians, uh, correct? Yes, they are. They, they're really well formed. They not only are, have a great knowledge, they have a deep connection to the people uh, and the culture and are really involved in the communities. That's why it makes our tours really special because they not only give you the highlights of every city, they're always able to make it that extra special for clients. And they do that very well. That's one of the reasons why I've decided to partner with you guys, because mm -hmm. your guides are locals and they, many of them have PhD in the local history, which, you know, you don't find that everywhere, you know? So it's really fabulous to work with you guys. And you did a fabulous presentation. Mm -hmm. So 
if anybody is watching and you're interested in going to Spain or Portugal or any of the surrounding islands that would be really nicely paired, reach out to me. I'm Teresa from Honeymoon Islands. I will leave my contact information at the bottom of this video. So until next time, if you can dream it, we will create it. Bye. Bye, Patricia. Bye. Thank you, Teresa.